Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to provide you with three simple key ways you can become a plasma gun professional so you can carry those maelstrom and high intensity shot troop runs like the hero you are. Plasma weapons are very iconic in the universe of 40k. It's incredibly violent and has the ability to melt flesh. Many soldiers are unable to tame its unstable nature, leading to self-destruction, but you're not going to be one of them. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the basics you need to melt through heretics in the hive. Firstly, we're going to have to address the crosshair, because my goodness, it's absolutely awful. A large part of your skill using the weapon will be incredibly hindered simply by how inaccurate the crosshair will make you. This is fixed externally from the game with a mod called Crosshair Remap that I have linked in the description. Once you have downloaded and activated the mod, jump into the menu, scroll down to the plasma gun and change it to whichever suits you best. I recommend the dot as you can see the exact point the weapon will be striking. This one change alone really gives you such a boost to your skill with the weapon that you almost don't need the rest of my points. But you want to become a plasma gun hero, don't you? So watch on Reject. Next up, we have Reload Animation Cancelling. This sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. I've made a short explaining this in the past. All it means is to perform an action that cuts the reload animation short, which causes the animation to skip, saving time. You will need to sprint briefly to cancel the animation, which can be done three separate times. You can also double press Q, however sprinting for a microsecond is much faster. There are three sound cues to notify you when you can cancel the animation successfully. Here they are. Number one. Number two. And number three. If you miss these points, it will reset the animation to the last point, losing time and taking longer to reload. So it wouldn't hurt to get yourself into the meat grinder to practice this. Here is the time difference between successfully cancelling the animation and not doing so. As you can see, it's pretty substantial. This will save you so much time on the battlefield, so it's a no-brainer. Once you get the hang of it, which is easy, you'll be doing it with your eyes closed. Make sure you reload the weapon as soon as you have any downtime from combat to make sure you're always ready. This rolls on nicely to my third point, which is the feats. You see, now you're able to cancel your reload animation to speed up that process. You no longer need the level 10 reload feat and can switch it to sniper for an extra damage boost. The other notable feat you need is the level 30 extra damage to Ogryn and monstrosities. This is an obvious choice because we won't be focusing shooters, so we do not need them to be targeted by volley fire. And the ammo capacity on the weapon is high enough that we do not need it to be automatically reloaded, especially if we are reloading it in downtime as I mentioned earlier. With the extra Ogryn damage, you're going to two-shot every Ogryn enemy with headshots once Volley Fire is active, which is not to be scoffed at. The rest of the feats I choose are as follows. Learn and use these tips, and I promise you, your Plasma Gun skills will jump skyfold. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my content in the future. And if you haven't already, take a look at this video on my review for the Antax Mark V Combat Tanks.